Yeah, you can clap for him. Let me tell you about Charlie. Um, this young man, a few weeks ago, uh, delivered the sermon or the message during our chapel. Now, that's quite an accomplishment for a high school senior. There's not very many high school seniors that I know that would be willing to get up before his peers and his teachers and preach a sermon. And that tells you a little bit about his spiritual maturity. And he has been a real leader this year. We appreciate uh, just the example he has set for all of our students. And he's going to tell you about his experience at Hell Country. You've been here how long, Charlie? Since pre-K. Since pre-K. That's a long time. That's 13 years. So he's what we call an alpha and omega student. Okay? So Charlie, tell, us, uh, tell these good folks uh, about your experiences. Thank you. So, yeah, like I said, I've been here since pre-K. Uh, it's been a pretty long and interesting journey, uh, you know, but it's been great. Um, I've loved basically every minute of it. Uh, at times, I've wanted to leave. Um, coming here to this uh, to Hill Country, it's not easy. Um, it's definitely worth it, though, and I'll share a little bit why that is. Um, I'm graduating this year with uh, 14 other students. And unlike Westwood or uh, Cedar Park High School, they have three or four hundred students graduating every year. So it's a lot smaller, but you know, it's great because we get to know each other a lot better. We have classes with each other every day, um, and it's, it's awesome. We all get along great. We're basically brothers and sisters now. Um, see where I am at. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, it's been great, though. And, uh, you know, coming here at this, um, it's a harder education for sure. Um, but I'm glad to say that I'm getting, uh, I was just accepted at A&M and going there next year. Yeah, <laughs> whoop. So, <laughs> um, and I know uh, at a public school, I probably wouldn't have been able to get into there because uh, 10%. Uh, top 10% rule and stuff like that, but you know, after sticking it through, after wanting to leave for you know, after my sophomore year and stuff, I was like, oh, I really want to get out of here, but I might as well stick it out. I'll get the better education, and you know, I love the students and faculty here too much to leave. So, um, but also, and also a good outlet for me was going to Young Life and stuff. Even if even when I was starting to get kind of fed up and annoyed with my classmates, and never a teacher. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> and um, going, to, going out to Young Life to hang out and meet new friends from public schools gave me a good opportunity to you know, start ministering and sharing what, where I have been with my life with other non-Christian students at public schools. And you know, that, that was great. And now I'm actually a leader at Wildlife, uh, Canyon Vista, which is the middle school version of Young Life, and I'd be happy to explain stories and stuff later about Wildlife and Young Life. Um, but, you know, this is, it's been a great 13 years here. Uh, it's been a lot, of, I've seen a lot of changes. I've been here probably longer than most of the faculty here has been too, so. Um, but it's been awesome, and I, I mean, I'd encourage any new students to come check it out and give it a shot. So, thanks. <laughs>